Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. This is episode number, I think, 13 of our RTG series, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, episode 13 of our RTG series. It has been wonderful 12 episodes. You guys have been showing insane support. Player reviews are back and player career mode which is going really well on the channel as well. And FC Mobile, oh my god, it is doing amazingly well. And you guys have been showing insane support for this. Uh, UTG as well which is Ugarte to Glory, our RTG series of FC 25 now in today's video. You guys know what we are going to be doing. You guys have seen the thumbnail, you guys have read the title and in today's video we are going to be checking out two players from one from manchester united one from chelsea and they both are going head to head on sunday for me it's a sunday kickoff and it is going to be insane it's going to be bloody sweet in yeah it is going to be insane guys. i don't know what else to tell uh, and i hope manchester united win i am guessing our new manager i can say that out loud or our new head coach to say uh ruben amarim has been assigned as a manchester united's new head coach hopefully he'll pick ugarte ugarte and amrim have played together in uh, sporting so hopefully ugarte will get that plus two lovely upgrade by manchester united winning against chelsea but for all the chelsea fans who watch this video and my channel i yes, hope you get a draw at least you will get a plus one i'll get a plus one i'll be happy with that and this ugarte card is going to be added to our uh, road to glory series squad as well so make sure you guys watch till the end so basically what i'm going to be doing is i am going to be doing a review on paper so what we're going to be doing is we're going to open this cards and check what their stats are on paper and then i'm going to complete both the spcs and put both the players in my squad i'm going to be playing first half with ugarte or kaisedo and then second half with the other player and then we are going to be seeing how these guys are actually in game are they good which card you want to go for all those players who are all those people who are not united or chelsea fans but you also want a dm in your squad or a center midfielder in your squad if you guys really want either ugarte or kaisedo whoever you want to choose you guys can choose you don't have to do the sbcs this i think for both you have to complete an 80 rated squad with manchester united if you need ugarte or an 80 rated squad with chelsea player if you need kaisedo and you need to complete an 81 rated squad an 81 rated squad with the t inform in it an 82 rated squad of the premier league in it and an 83 rated squad so this is except for the first one the rest four are literally same for both the sbcs it's not costly guys it's pretty dead cheap you guys would have gathered a lot of uh, fodder in your sbc storage easily you can do it i did both of them just with my sbc storage fodder and i don't have great players in my fodder as well in sbc storage so what i'm going to be doing with we're going to kick off with ugarte obviously i am i am manchester united i am a big big die hard fan of manchester united amazing season you're having so yeah, let us go on with the player details preferred position cdm we all know that he's a he's a good cdm i would say he has not been playing a lot of games for United, not as much as at least Kaiseido for Chelsea. But he recently his game has improved drastically. Obviously, he is a new signing. He has not played a lot. He has not been given a lot of chances, even though he was purely bought for uh, our coach, or, I mean our ex-coach Eric Tenag. He didn't use him that much. But whenever Ugarte has been on the field, he has had good games. And even when he's brought on for the last 10 minutes or 15 minutes, Ugarte has been really good. So I am really excited to see how he's going to be in real life when he starts more games for us. So apart from that, you can play him at center mid as well. And Uruguayan, good. And looking at his attributes now, he has 80 pace, 70 shooting. Now for both the players, Kaisedo and Ugarte, both the first stats are literally the same. Probably the stats within them might differ like short power or attacking position or acceleration and sprint speed might differ. But on paper, pace and shooting stats are 80, 70 for both. And when you see Ugarte, he has 80 passing, 83 dribbling, 81 defending and 84 physical. And uh, these stats actually look decent for our base card, for an 84 rated card, base card, 
if you look at just ugarte it looks decent for how what players you're putting in you're getting a decent card out of it uh, even though it's only 80 passing he has 87 short pass he has 85 long pass he has 68 curve which is not great he has 68 crossing which is not great he usually doesn't need those two he only needs short pass and long pass and vision all three are looking good fine for me short pass 72 finishing 70 attacking position 81 doesn't really matter i don't really need those short pass can improve but we'll see how we can improve that in the future and dribbling 80 80 84 83 84 87 which accumulates to 83 dribbling individually if you want to see 84 dribbling 83 ball control 84 reaction and 87 composure so he should be good on the ball and he should have decent dribbling and ball control in game according to me we'll test out both the cards we'll test out both the cards in game in just a minute and then coming to defending 85 stand tackle 82 defensive awareness 86 interceptions and 81 slight tackle defensive stats look really good defensive stats i'm, I'm not complaining about heading aggressive don't really care about it uh, i'm thinking defensive stats Slant tackle, slide tackle, interceptions. Three things should be good. All three look really good. And physical 87 stamina, 81 strength, 91 aggression, and 77 jumping. I feel like strength could have been a bit more for him. I feel like that is one place where he, the ratings have been dropped for him, according to me. But that's my opinion, guys. So, yeah. And looking at play styles, he has five, six play styles actually. He has a long ball pass, he has jockey, he has intercept. He has light tackle, he has bruiser, and he has so what is this technical. So these are all his play style that he gets. And then roles. When you play my CDM, you get center off double plus and then holding plus. And when you play my center mid, you get box to box plus. So these are the roles that you need to keep in mind. I don't know how many of you guys have actually understood what roles do. Not I have not understood this a lot yet, but I just go with the flow, I guess. And looking at the basics. Skill move, 4 star skill move and 3 star weak foot. I don't really like the 3 star weak foot. I wish it was 4 star weak foot and 3 star skill move. Because skill move I don't really care about. But he is a right footed player which is a positive in my opinion. So yeah, that is our first card done. Now let us look at Kaiseido and how he looks on paper. Okay, now looking at Moises Kaiseido. He is also a centre midfielder at alternate position. He is from Ecuador. I don't know how many of you guys knew that. I did not know that. I thought he was from France for some reason because for some reason looking at Kaiswero, I feel like I'm looking at Kante. Look at them. They look very similar. Both have played in CDM and both have played for Chelsea. I don't know. I just feel like I'm looking at him. I'm looking at Kante. It just resembles him. I just it's too resemble too much of resemblance. But yeah, now looking at Kaiswero, he has four star weak foot and three star skill move. Now this is the only thing that I looked at when I saw the initial reaction and I was like oh no. The player that I don't want has the things that I want which is Costa Wickford. He is also a right footed player and I think this card many of you guys might go in for uh, rather than Ugarte. I, I feel like there is going to be a bias towards Chelsea mainly because Manchester United are doing so bad in the league right now. And I feel like many people will be like I don't want Ugarte he is doing so bad. And uh, yeah, it is what it is, guys. I mean, I understand if people go for Kaiseido over Ugarte, and I understand if people go for Ugarte over Kaiseido as well. Uh, we are gonna go and test both of them out in the on the pitch in just a while. Like I said, pace and shooting for both it's the same, and short power and sh long shots are 78 and 79. This card looks a bit more balanced. Uh, when it comes to you know the overall stats there we saw some i think we saw one or two 80s over there i'm not sure and we saw some red red lines here there when in shooting here we see more of uh, yellow and green and in pace he has less sprint speed but he has more acceleration i think there it was 81 and 80 here it is 82 and 78 so that is not bad actually that is actually pretty decent acceleration is there and sprint speed can be built up we can add chemistry styles and I'm going to be using a full prem squad so <coughs> everybody's going to be getting full chemistry and I'll show you guys the boost stats as well in just a moment but looking at passing 83 passing 80 dribbling 84 defending and 81 physical less physical and more defending and less dribbling and more passing I think that's that's right compared to Ugarte if I'm not wrong my brain cells the two brain cells that are there right now should be right 
And looking at passing guys, look at the passing stats. It looks 10 times better than Ugarte's passing. 93 short pass, 91 long pass, 72 curve compared to his 60 or something like that. And then 85 vision and 65 crossing as well. I feel like, I mean on card, on card details, I feel like somebody wants a CDM off the bat. I might suggest going for Kaiseido because of his stats. It looks prominently way better than Ugarte. But uh, I don't know, it just uh, I feel like even defensive stats, look at that, 87, 85, 87, 85, 87 stand tackle, 87 interceptions and 85 slide tackle, Ugarte has 81 slide tackle, 85 stand tackle and 86 interceptions if I'm not wrong and even heading accuracy is pretty decent on this card, good ball control, uh, below par dribbling I would say 77 is not that great, um, uh, he has good composure, good agility, good balance. Physical stamina is pretty much the same. Strength and accretion is low. Oh my god. I did not expect strength to be low. I mean, fair enough, he has been injured for a long time, so maybe they are uh, predicting strength on that basis. But yeah, and even in this card, you get more playstyles. In that, it was uh, 50, no, in that it was 6, and here you get 7. You, here you get uh, Tiki Taka, no, you get pinched pass, you get Tiki Taka, you get and anticipate intercepts late tackle press proven and relentless okay okay these are actually can say those card looks really good compared to Gathe's card i'm not gonna lie i am a manchester united fan die hard fan i might add but Kaiseido's card on paper looks 10 times better than Ugarte's. i'm not gonna lie and cdm if you play Kaiseido at cdm you can use uh, deep lying playmaker double plus and holding plus i mean this or that and then if you play him at center mid, you'll get deep playing playmaker plus. Mm, good roles actually as well. On on a, on an on an overall or overall, I would say Kaisodo card look better than Ugarte's card. I'm not gonna lie, but Ugarte is gonna be in my spot permanently. Now let I'm gonna complete this. We're gonna go into a game, and uh, before that, I will show you guys their boosted stats as well. Okay guys, real quick before we head into the game, I just want to show you guys Ugarte stats after being added to the squad and after getting full chem, you are using the basic chemistry style, so pretty much every stat gets a plus 4 boost over here, as you guys can see, short power, sprint speed, under passing these stats, under dribbling certain stats, under defense certain stats, under physical strength is being increased. Now I would definitely suggest if you guys are seriously thinking about going for either of these cards, uh, with a heavy heart, I'm gonna say go for Mo Moises Kaiseido because he looks like a better card. I'm not gonna lie, he looks like a better card. Now, I'll show you guys uh, how Kaiseido looks as well, uh, real quick. So, this is how Kaiseido will look. He'll get plus 4 in sprint speed, and then he'll get plus 4 in short pass and long pass, which, which is looking absolutely monstrous. And his defensive stats, guys, he's just getting too much boost. So I would definitely suggest get Kaiseido, use him with the base base chemistry style, and uh, pray that he wins. Pray that Chelsea wins. That is all that you guys can hope for because this card, when it goes to 86, it's gonna get stats boost. And then with the full chemistry boost, it's gonna be looking out of this world. So yeah, I hope uh, Ugarte wins because I absolutely love the guy. And look at the number of Manchester United players here. We have, I mean, this is not even my main squad. This is the showdown. As you guys can see, I've named this uh, thing showdown. And yeah, we will add Ugarte at the end of the video in our main uh, lineup. So yeah. Okay, you know what? He already feels 10 times better than the evolution, uh, evolved card that I have of Ugarte's base version. And uh, it's, it's looking really nice. And if Haaland could have made a good run over there, that would have been an absolute monster of a cross. I'm not even joking, guys. It would have been a really nice uh, pass, not a cross. It would have been a really nice pass if Haaland could have made that run. But the the pace, the the pace is looking really good. Uh, initial thoughts at the pace is looking really good. You can run at your uh, opponents with this pace. Look at that! Look at that! He is able to run at them. I am playing against a monster squad, so it is gonna be not that easy. He is able to win the ball back, he is able to turn quick, he is able to keep the ball to his feet, he is able to move fast. Look at that pace, look at that pace. Pull it back, pass the ball, bring it down, score a goal. Easy. 
Ugarte is actually a pretty good card in game. I am I have no complaints about this card. Good pace on him as a CDM. He has good pace. Not many CDMs have good pace. So good pace for an 84 rated card. And he has decent short pass, which we saw he has around 87 short pass, I think, without the stat boots. Boots? <laughs> Boosts. Uh, so pa short pass is good. Dribbling and ball control is good. He's able to keep calm. So his um, composure is good as well. Now we don't have to think sit and test his shooting abilities. Uh, but if I get a chance to shoot with him, I will try. And you guys saw that his interceptions are good as well, guys. He, this is a really good card. I don't know. This is the problem. Like many people will think because Manchester United is playing bad, maybe he's going to be a bad card. But I don't know how many of you guys are watching this video till the end and actually looking for yourselves how the cards are. Now I am playing in squad battles. People will be thinking that you are playing squad battles so it will look easy. But if I play in rivals, I can't show you guys. I can't test the card. I can show you how I will play, which is very bad. He is actually able to control the ball really well. I'm not gonna lie. And the pace helps out a lot as well. He's able to dribble past people. You know, get the ball, keep the ball to his feet and pass the ball out when necessary. It's not actually a bad card. His uh, defensive stats are good as well. For a DM, it is looking really good. Defensive and attacking wise. You know, the shot might be awful. That shot power was weak. That shot power was weak. I did not expect much from the shot power. But that shot power was weak. Now this Ugarte card is going to be put in our main uh, UTG squad. So he is going to be the Ugarte we are going to be playing. If we play any games in the future in our uh, series, in our episodes, that is the card we are going to be using. Since this is Ugarte to glory, I was really happy that uh, he decided to release this card, not going to lie. So yeah, you know what? I am satisfied with this card. I am not going to lie, really decent card for what you are putting in. I would say it is worth it. Now. Kaiseido might be 10 times better than this card, but we will never know if we don't use him. So I'm gonna use him. Moises Kaiseido, literally the same position because both of them are right footed players. And uh, usually, right footed players playing at right CDM is right DM is more preferable. So I'm gonna be just swapping them out without you know, doing any much exchanges. I mean, any anything else, any other changes. So yeah. Okay, Kaisedo is in for Ugarte. Now, I don't know how Kaisedo is going to be. He does feel a little bit slow. I don't know why. He does feel a little bit slow, but the dribbling. You know what? We need to play. I need to play a little bit more. Give me time. Give me time. Okay, when, when we don't have the ball, he runs rapidly. He runs really rapid. And even when he has the ball, it is a weird feeling. I don't know whether it's because of the acceleration or something else. It feels weird. He's having, he's, it feels slow. It feels slow. I'm not going to lie. But apart from that, the card is actually better than Ugarte in certain aspects. I'm not going to lie. Ugarte also has good dribbling and uh, ball control stats. I would say pretty much on par with the Kaiseido. Uh, I wouldn't say it was better than Kaiseido's. It, I would say it was pretty much as good as Kaiseido's. And pace and running and sprint speed and acceleration, I feel like Ugarte was better. And passing, Kaiseido was 10 times taking the bag. 101% Kaiseido is better at passing. Defending, I've not got a chance to defend with Kaiseido yet. Like, he is there in front of the player, but I've not got a chance to, you know. But his positioning feels awkward. He's always getting caught with players. He's not like in front of a player or behind a player. He's getting caught with players. I feel like Kaiseido is more of a defense attacking DM. I feel like he's like more attacking mindset. Look at that. He has good dribbling and ball control. He has decent shooting. I'm not gonna lie. I would say he has better shooting than uh, Ugarte. He has better passing than Ugarte. Um, he feels more attacking mindset. I'm not gonna lie. If you and if you look at the stats, go back and see the stats. He feels more attacking minded looking at the stats. Ugarte looks more defensive. It like his 
it feels more defensive it look it feels good to use him as a defensive dm i know dm is defensive midfielder but even dms have certain characteristic roles they need to play certain players need to cover the gaps in the defense certain players need to stay in right in front of the defense certain players are allowed to go a little bit ahead and play as a part of the central attacking midfield or the central midfielders i feel like uh, kaiseido is that kind of a player in this game in game according to me that is what i have feel and ukate feels like a more of a you know stay at the back defend control the situation in front of the um, uh, center backs focus on clearing the ball get the ball no nonsense defending pass it from the back uh, passing out creating a pathway i feel like ugarte is good for that so both of these players have their pluses and minuses i would say it's just at the end of the day it comes to your play style i would somebody who plays like me who is really counter attacking mindset it who who waits for a opportunity to get an attack and then fully forcefully attacks i would go for ugarte if you are more of a short pass or more of an aggressive attacking don't care about defense that much because you have high pacey defenders I feel like i say that will be a better choice for you guys but yeah high pressing teams usually go would, would go for kaisedo but if you are a counter attacking mindset or if you use your midfielder solely for attacking and winning the ball and controlling the midfield i would suggest go for ugarte he feels better in game so yeah this is my opinion hope you guys enjoy the video and not only if you guys are still watching till the end but if you are please leave a like and i hope us manchester united fans who are watching this video if you guys are manchester united fan i hope we have at least a good se- end to the season i don't know how it's going to go on with the ruben alarm but uh, i feel like amram will you know be a big of a change so yeah we'll see i'll see you guys in the next video till then take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling guys bye bye